Another big biorefinery announcement last week and some fresh signs that gasoline margins have had their moment in the summer sun. I'm Thomas Warner with this week's European Products Wrap. Total has announced that its 93,000 barrel a day Grand Puis site is to become a biorefinery. The news follows Neste's decision a week earlier to shift production away from traditional road fuels at its 197,000 barrel a day Pourvu facility. Total's decision was partly a response to some pipeline problems it's been having at the Grand Puy site, but also partly a response to the challenges facing conventional refiners. Middle distillate margins have been at multi-year lows for the last four months, while light ends have proven more resilient. Gasoline and naphtha margins were both close to post-COVID highs last week, with plenty of blending going on ahead of the refining industry's switch to winter-grade gasoline later this week. But that same switch will put pressure on gasoline margins purely as a result of winter-grade trading at lower outright prices. High component prices are likely to combine with a seasonal slump in demand to increase that pressure as we go through autumn. With refining margins across the barrel getting squeezed, it's little wonder that refinery runs around the continent remain stuck at around 70% of capacity. Make sure to keep a close eye on the Argus European Products Report this week for all the latest refinery news and for daily updates on everything from fuel oil to naphtha and all points in between. And I'll see you again next week for another edition of the Argus European Products Wrap.